Um. <laughs> Beautiful. I'm gonna watch you drink all day. All right. We should cut that part out of the podcast. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All right. <laughs> hey, everybody. Right. What's going on? I'm Rob Sisterino back again to talk with you about the week's most interesting news stories for the week of August 27th, 2024, here on News AF. If the story is buzzing like it's on crystal meth, it's about to be News AF. If the same old news makes you bored to death, it's time for some News AF. Actual, factual news. Yes, that's right. We are back together. I'm back from Washington, D.C where I did last week's show. Excited to dive into everything here with Pickleball's top influencer, Tyson Apostle. Wow. What's up, Rob? Yeah. Is that new? Is that new? The muscles? They, yeah. Uh, the muscles are old. They're very old. They're 45 years old. And uh, they're decrepit, mostly. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's... Uh, mm, sad <laughs> no vintage, it's fine. I would they're them. vintage vintage yeah they uh just get they're better well aged get better like a meat a fine meat <laughs> so fine. yeah things are going great i'm back from canada been back for a week and uh back to the pickleball grind dude playing yep. some pickleball playing some disc golf doing some podcasting all of that stuff so uh everywhere yeah. all the time picture day today for the girls yes oh, uh, were they ready we got them ready they mm -hmm. were ready we picked out some stuff last night for them they look forward to picture day a bit because it is like a special i think i re also remember looking forward to picture day because you got to get out of class you got to go stand in a line you had some old guy trying to make you laugh as they took your picture with a rubber chicken i think was the signature thing in utah <laughs> and he's dead inside yeah and, and he wishes he was somewhere eyes. else yeah Wish but he's like bopping you over the head with yeah, a rubber chicken he, like, yeah. he, he thought he was going to be taking pictures of models in milan yeah <laughs> he's, he's, yeah no that's what? not true because I have a friend who is a photographer for schools like this. And he's like, I'm not even a photographer. I just yeah. go in. Someone says, them. I just push the button. Exactly. He's like, all yeah. I do is push the button. So and yeah. then we you don't have to focus anything in 2024. Yeah. Yeah. And then so. what's the racket, Tyson, on uh, then then the the charge to you and Rachel? 40 bucks. Oh, only per, 40, uh, that's pretty, 40 bucks. I chose the cheapest package that includes a digital copy so I can get the digital, the digital copy yeah. alone. That's is all that matters. $24. So if you just wanted the digital copy, it's 24. Mm -hmm. The cheapest package that also includes a digital copy is 38. So that's what yeah. I got. Yeah. So then you have some what photos to share around. And it, I mean, isn't everything though? Mm -hmm. Like every single, like, I remember like 10, 15 years ago, everything was like $20. Like if you like just averaged everything out, it was $20. Now the movies were a nickel, a Coke was a penny. I no, mean, but it was like, come on, a trip to the movies, $20 <laughs> yeah. like for an individual. Now it's like a hundred dollars per individual for anything you want to try and do or buy. I'm pretty sure you can get in and out of the movie theater uh, for yeah, less than a hundred bucks. Where are you going? Like the finest. Yeah. Maybe for the whole family. You're taking theater. the family of four. Get now. in touch guys. You guys are <laughs> out of touch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't go to movies. Yeah. So Once upon a time you were just a single guy going to the movies. Now you're yeah. taking a family of four. Yeah. Now, oh, I know. $400. Mm -hmm. to That's go what I'm see saying. <laughs> inside out. Whatever, <laughs> to go see whatever. migration. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. That's why. I mean, it's not like that, but like everything is, is like, yeah, you just plan on spending some money. <laughs> like, there's not a day where I'm just like, well, didn't plan on spending $900 today, but we did it and we'll probably do it again tomorrow. And I don't know how I'm staying afloat, but we're just winging it like everyone Magic. Wing it. <laughs> just yeah. wing it. Yeah. Yep. All right. The guy who's always winging it. It's Danny Bryson. Danny, how are you? Pretty, pretty good. I went to a race course and what I discovered. Well, wait, I what kind of race course? course? Um, remember I told you my kid was going to go and do a ride along on a race yes, car? Yes. Oh yeah. So racetrack, we'd call that a race track. Race track. Yeah. Right. I, obviously I don't go to either. At the Rocky places. mountain raceway, right? You no, know? I was very, it was at Larry H. Miller. They have one in Tooele, 
which I didn't know. You know when you yeah, buy something? That's the Larry H. Miller to Willow. Okay. That's gigantic. So I never looked at the actual place that I had to go to. So uh, the night before, I'm like, oh, actually, this drive is much longer yeah, than I. But that course is you. like way more legit. Yeah. So I went, and what I discovered is I'm not a car person. Yeah. I kind of knew that in my heart, but I just don't care. It's very easy to tell if you're a car person because how can you tell? It's yeah. Just, what's the symptoms? The symptoms are. They're buying a car that is way out of their budget mm. and making sacrifices to have that car. So I could tell Danny, tell me your cars that you own. Subaru, Toyota, Toyota. What years? 2016, 2018, 2015. Yep. Not a car person. You got an almost 10 <laughs> year old car in that hunk of shit, dude. You guys are. Hey, it's a great car. Yeah. Did, did, Rob, let's hear what your vehicles are. Uh, got a, uh, Volkswagen and a Hyundai. Yeah. What years? I think Hyundai, I think even having any Hyundai, I any, think I any Hyundai yeah, is the millionaire next door. Dis <laughs> disqualified. That's the millionaire next door play right there. The Hyundai. Uh, mm -hmm. okay. Volkswagen, what year? Uh, 2023. And is it an RS like a uh, race edition? Not golf? race anything. No. Okay. He's okay. not a car person. Not no. a car person. But here, here's what I, I learned. Nobody you know, thinks you, I'm a car person. When you Nobody. get something, when you get something for your kids, mm -hmm. there's this moment of anxiety where you're worried they may not have liked it. So mm -hmm. we we bought this ride along for our uh, oldest and our middle child, both okay. both boys, and wasn't sure how it would be received. Car so kids. They get, uh, one of them is the other one, you know, I, I can't tell. He's the one that broke his arm mm -hmm. and on the Ceron. What is this for? Is this a gift for? Yeah, it was for their birthdays. Okay. So they burned a birthday gift for this. Uh, they get on it. They only do three laps. And from the stands where we're watching them, you can't tell that it's going very fast. I'm like, oh mm -hmm. no, dude, I'm going to face, the, I'm going to have this parent moment where I have to yell at my kids for not being grateful for all the things they have. Like I'm preparing that conversation yeah. in advance. I did that last night. <laughs> And as they're walking towards me, uh, I asked the middle child, I said, how was it? He goes, that was the number one single most awesome thing I've ever done. All right. I was like, oh my gosh. It was like the weight off my shoulders. It didn't even matter what the older brother said. I was like, okay, I have a yeah. win here. I was like, And yeah, then I'm you just there. left the older brother there and took off. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I don't have to do anything for the rest of the year. What okay. speed did uh, they go okay. on this? Yeah. Uh, 180 miles an hour jeez dude. <laughs> yeah so that's why what were they in they were in a hellcat so it's the car that goes in front of all the okay. other cars and they were on a racetrack with all these like lambos and ferraris yeah and it didn't look like they went that fast but the guy had them roll down the windows and then he went like 180 or 182 or something like that that's so wow cool. it was awesome were yeah. they in the same car or in separate cars they were in the same car same okay each other, thank goodness how uh, but so yeah they it was were in the back they were in the back seat <laughs> they were in the back okay yeah. And how did the cool. older one, was the older one stoked on it too? Yeah. Yeah. He's a lot like me where you could get exactly what you want all the time and never show any. Kind yeah. That's of, how, yeah. that's how we, I think that's how all Gen X's are. Mm -hmm. uh, Cause I'm the same. Like, and my daughter is this Bergen is the same dude. Like she'll just be there. Just like, this is her face. Just like stoic, yeah. somber. Like you won and, the lottery and you're like, Sweet. yeah. And I'm looking at her face and I'm like, she's stoked right now i can tell she's stoked because <laughs> she's too stoked to crack a smile to even think about the joy she's so yeah. hyper focused on how dope the thing is it's hilarious like people will look over at like we'll take her somewhere doing something so rad and they'll be like i don't know if she likes it i was like i can tell she likes it because look she's tuned everything out she's hyper focused she's zoned she's totally zoned yeah so uh okay. that's funny Good. That's, parental win. You get one of yeah. those on that. I bet my girls would love that, dude. Yeah, it was so loud. I was like, dude, this is the worst, but my kids loved it. So how long was it? Like 20 seconds? Uh no, three laps is a lot longer than I thought. Those big be. laps of yeah, the whole big, course whole that's like race course, a mile yeah. and a half long. No, no, like it's a windy course. Yeah. They didn't do like an oval. They did like yeah, all yeah. These turns I know the course. That's where they do the super bike stuff in the yeah. you should take them to the super bike stuff. Uh I just said I'm not like really a yeah. motor person. Well, so now probably. Danny's gonna be chasing that high now. Oh my like, where, no. where you know yeah. <laughs> what, Listen, what will this lead us to next? I'm telling you, I'm not anything either, but I went to this super bike thing there and 
if you're standing trackside, those bikes come through so fast. You don't even see them. It's just like you hear them in the distance. And then all of a sudden, right in front of your face is like, doo, 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 doo. and you're like, I think 10 motorcycles just passed me, but I could barely see them. They're so fast. I'll, I'll think about it. Tyson. Like lasers. Lasers. I love lasers. I would go there to something go. where lasers are being shot. You can't tell if they're motorcycles or lasers. That's what I'm well, saying. That's kind of like lasers. Like they shoot down those drones with lasers, but you don't see anything. You just see the mm. drone catch fire. So it's kind of a buzzkill, mm. I guess. Yeah. Uh, Rob, you going to go to the racetrack now after Danny's? I mean, you guys are making it sound pretty rad. Was well, kind of cool, especially if you were in the car. Mm -hmm. So, all right. I don't, I don't think I'd like being in the car. Yeah, I'd be like, sir, this is not a safe speed, <laughs> sir. <laughs> sir, yeah, wouldn't be that fun for me, but I, I definitely uh, understand the appeal. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about uh, yeah. some of our top stories at this hour. And look, the streaming wars of the 2020s have raged on for years, mm -hmm. and now we've talked about it all. We've talked about all these people that come and go, the two Bs of the world, but Quibi. a new player, the, yeah, the, I'm sorry, the Quibi, mm -hmm. not even two B, two B's still out there. Um, quick bites. Yeah. Well, speaking of quick bites, a new player is entering the arena. Mm -hmm. Fast food giant Chick fil A is launching a streaming service. Oh, uh, I can't even imagine what will be on there. I, offend, hold on. I offended a guy at Taco Bell. He How? Gave, gave me my food and mm -hmm. he, I said, thank you. And he goes, my pleasure. And I said, did you used to work at? And even before I finished that sentence, he said with an angry look on his face, no, I did not. And then I said, Chick-fil-A. Because you know how they say my ple pleasure? He was offended. That I thought he might work at Chick-fil-A. Because Chick-fil-A says my pleasure every time. Yes. Yeah, that's yes. their like thing. So, Dang, dude. Yeah, not mm -hmm. everyone's going to love this channel. That guy's definitely not going to yeah. be watching the Chick-fil-A channel. So, I Danny, bet he, did. he definitely did, Danny. Yeah. Yeah, right. He's ashamed of it or something. Mm -hmm. No, he's that, just like, I'm that a you'd call them Taco out. Bell now. I'm a Taco Bell man now. He's probably not allowed to say. <laughs> I'm a bellboy. La Vida Loca. Yeah, he might have had an NDA also. Yeah. I was worried after I said that, that I might find human hair on my food. But, mm -hmm. but you I didn't look too it. They pushed it in deep enough you couldn't see it. Yeah, yeah. It just like molded in with the beans. It was, they yeah. were really good burritos. So Okay. Um, <laughs> Danny, guess what this uh, network's called, this streaming platform? Um, My pleasure. Channel Chicken. No, it's not. <laughs> you made that up. Rob, it, does it have a name? I don't, I don't think that there's a name yet. <laughs> Should we come up with a name? Yeah. Well, uh, let's not give it to f for them. To them oh free, yeah, free. Right? So Chick Fil A, get in touch with us. Three, we yeah. got a name for you. It's not you're not gonna want to miss this because we mm -hmm. already bought the URLs for it. Yeah. So. All right. Well, Chick Fil A, that they are, you know, of course, people know that they are, you know, try to be family friendly. So that's the type of content you're gonna see on there. They're working on uh, some game shows mm -hmm. from the creators mm -hmm. of The Wall. What's I mean, that? Is that like East Germany? Is the wall I that believe... stick wall where they throw you against it and you stick on it like uh, you're wearing a Velcro suit? Yeah. Was that uh, Chris Hardwick hosted The Wall? Maybe. The mm -hmm. Wall. Not a great name for a show. Could have been Jimmy Fallon. The yeah. Wall. It's easy to forget. Yeah. Chris Hardwick. Yes. But you could easily what imagine to it Chris Hardwick? Jimmy Fallon. Where the heck did he go? Uh, I think that he had some issues. Mm. Oh, Ken don't Bode. they all? <laughs> yeah. So, okay, yeah. the wall. What else? Um, they've got maybe some uh animated shows. Mm -hmm. Why even try? <laughs> you know, there are there's so much content out there. Netflix is getting rid of content that you're interested in before you even have time to remember what it was. Yeah. Like, what was it's, that show I was going to watch? Like, try mm, to find it. It's buried under 500 new shows. The only way this works is if the shows are okay, there's no advertising, and it's free. Hmm. That's the only way it works. Any other model's not going to work here anymore for a uh, new streaming platform. 
Hmm. It's going to be free for loyal members. Okay. Like you Maybe. sign in with your loyalty card or whatever. Card, yeah. And Maybe you have to like free. eat at Chick Fil A once a month to get keep your monthly access to the yeah. streaming service. Yep, you stick your greasy finger in this <laughs> like thumb drive that then unlocks it for you after eating. Because it's like I watch Prime Video on Amazon sometimes yeah. because I have a Prime account. Yeah, but if you I didn't have guilty. a Prime account, I would never. I would be like, all these videos are free with the service I'm paying because I didn't pay for the service in any way, shape or form to have access to Amazon prime video. Mm -hmm. So that's what I think is like Chick-fil-A's play is, is that. And the second you are like, Oh, cool to be that's free. And you're like, yes, but there's so many advertisements that you will never finish anything. And I don't yeah. need to remind people be very careful with this contract. Because when you choke on a chicken nugget, oh, Disney yeah. Plus. You might oh, they're have... Disney Plusing us? They Maybe. could. I don't know. Maybe that's the thing. They're like the lawyer said, well, we could uh, increase your insurance or you could start a streaming channel and lock people into contracts. Lock them in. Wow. Yeah. Now, arbitration. I feel like it would make more sense if there was like a lot of kids programming where then you sort of like then already have the toys for the Happy Meal. Now, yeah. I know it's not a Happy Meal at Chick-fil-A. It's a, uh, yes, whatever it is. They give you puzzles, which mm -hmm. just upset my children. And, yeah, yeah. And little booky book things. Yes. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, the design for it, if they're really thinking, should be to make you hungry. <laughs> like yeah. that. Every ASMR show is just, eating. Yeah. yeah. No, just every show is based around making you hungry to eat some chicken. Mustangs. So just. Hmm. You think it's, I don't think it's necessarily mukbangs. I, I don't think, think there's any mukbanging going on. It could be mm, just like no. cartoons where they're just like, guys, I'm hungry. I haven't eaten since lunch. And it's like, it's already two o'clock. I better have a snack. A How snack will I meal. pay for this? Go to your mother's purse. <laughs> Inside, you'll find this little square thing. It's called a credit card. Uh, yeah. I don't know if that's the play, but whatever we better. won't know until we watch it that's the thing it's all just a big mystery so mm -hmm. do you think it's actually going to come out danny bryson man i can't even imagine what a waste <laughs> how how high are what you on it, your success? maybe they'll give us a show no it doesn't sound like they're they're come on they're no quibby they're not handing out a hundred million dollars to everyone mm, uh yeah. but yes we'll take a show chick-fil-a yep we're in for a show our pleasure yep Tyson, they're yeah. looking at unscripted series, uh, potentially in the range of four hundred thousand dollars per half hour. So what? if you want to pitch them, I'm in, dude. Yeah. What? Yeah. I'm half in. an hour, four hundred thousand dollars. Yep, oh, dude. I've got. A I show. already have a show. It's called. Already, I, my show's called Cam. My show is called Expedition Death. But the working title for the people on it is called <laughs> Teamwork Makes the Dream Work. I like that. You've been workshopping that for a long time. I could yeah. tell. I just rolled off your tongue. Yeah, we're pranking the shit out of some people. Expedi <laughs> Expedition Death. Expedition Death. That That's what the man. viewers will see. Yeah. But <laughs> when you're making the show, the contestants it's a prank will, show? will understand that the show is called Teamwork Makes the Dream Work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is Danny the leader that takes people on their adventure? Be. Death he expedition. Expedition death. No, no, yeah. I'm saying that I take them on their death expedition. Yes. Whatever yeah. happens, there needs to be an elaborate tipping ceremony at the end. <laughs> <laughs> well, and a lot of good contracts like yeah. that cover yeah. me. Yeah. Okay. So should pet owners mm -hmm. be allowed to have in their will to take their living pets with them to the beyond. No, I saw like the Egyptian headline pharaohs. for that. They wanted, the, there was a famous guy, right? Yes, French actor. French actor wanted to, in his will, he had it that his beloved dog would be yes, euthanized Tyson, upon yes. his death. Yes. And buried with him in his sarcophagus or whatever he's getting buried in. Maybe yes, just a, a tomb, I believe. A tomb. Ooh, a tomb. And mm -hmm. his family opted not to give him his last will and testament. Hey, Surprise! He didn't demand a pyre. Haunt he's haunting him. Yeah, he's definitely haunting him. But at least he's haunting him without a also a ghost dog. A ghost that's dog. Angry for being murdered. Mm -hmm. Like yep, hell. So 
Yeah. He uh, died this past week. Mm -hmm. uh, he was 88. His name was Alain Delon. Uh, and maybe I butchered that, but maybe I got Probably. it right. Yeah. Uh, that he said in a 2018 interview, I've had 50 dogs in my life. But I Whoa. have a particular relationship with well, yeah, what a flex. But mm. I have a particular relationship with this one. And if I die before him, I'll ask the veterinarian to leave us together. I prefer knowing that he would let himself die on my tomb amid so much suffering. A little, a little uh self flattering. Yeah. That, you know, the dog actually forgot would be heartbroken. Who this man is after yeah. he got some snossages from mm -hmm. the man's heirs. This is an insane request. I don't even like pets, but it's <laughs> like this is this is ridiculous. I'm glad yeah. that his family did not honor it. So, what if Danny, you, when you, upon your passing, your cat passes on the same day? Oh, if I got buried with my cat, I would be so mad. <laughs> I would be like, "Do not put that thing in here with me." You'd be rolling over in your grave. No, because then I'd be touching the cat. I would definitely be haunting. The remaining relatives especially the uh -huh. person who thought it was a good idea to put that cat in there with me but like as a joke i think it would bring some levity to the whole like uh if the like they just threw the cat in as the dirt's being shoveled in and everyone just starts laughing yes they're like danny hates cats danny <laughs> hates cat. and then yeah by the way let's yes. be clear i just hate indoor pets okay i don't hate cats although mm. they do destroy a lot of indigenous uh species they're they're serial killers <laughs> yeah but um other than that they're just animals animals yeah. have every right to exist i just don't like them existing inside houses that's mm. how i actually feel too we have so many germs as humans inside our houses why especially with kids just, especially kids being potty just... trained i don't need a cat too yeah uh okay so they didn't honor this man's request and Will they... have there been any hauntings yet not yet but he only has been dead a couple days you have to get used to the afterlife, then you haunt. You have to learn how to actually show yourself. Yes. As yeah, a ghost. Exactly. That takes mm -hmm. time. Training. And yeah, training. So, okay. And where's the dog now? Um, living with the family. Hmm. Okay. You know? Do they have plans post uh I mean when the dog dies, do they have plans to put it crack that? Sarcophagus. I, I don't think that the family has commented publicly on this. I think that people were just upset that this was going to happen, but it has not happened yeah. yet. Mm. Okay. So, it's just an interesting question. Should people be allowed to do like, is it uh, against the law to have this kind of a wish? Um, it should be. Yeah. It should and this happened in France. I mean, I don't. Yeah. I mean, it should be because you can't, you can't just kill a, a yeah. dog. I mm -hmm. mean, it made sense back then to kill all your horses so that they could carry you into the afterlife. I mean, you mm -hmm. do need a ride. <laughs> Is that a dogs, thing that people did? Yeah, of course. But the dog didn't doesn't do anything. He's not uh, going to give you a ride. Yes, of course. All or, dogs go to heaven, Danny. Yeah, they did that all the time. People, uh, kings, emperors, they had like all sorts of things killed. The Egyptians did it so that they could be carried to the afterlife. Man. And now we know that you can do it with a uh, be buried with a car mm -hmm. Uber. Yeah. 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 Maybe that's what we should start a business where you get buried with your car. Oh. A cheaper car. Yeah. yeah I think so we've heard, could... talked about that. People that well, get no, buried in cars. The guy got buried in his favorite car. We're talking about creating a vibe like you have to be buried with a yeah. car to if drive. You want to get to heaven. Line. Oh, yeah. yeah. So here's All the thing. roads lead to heaven. Here's mm -hmm. what we do. We open a car dealership. Then we start a religion. Then the religion teaches that the only way to heaven is in a car that has to be blessed and sold by our dealership. Then, <laughs> come on. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not saying they don't like it. I'm just laughing at the idea of like, you know, burning. Are you a car guy? If not, <laughs> how are you going to get to heaven? Yeah. Come see us every Sunday morning. We're only a half hour service. And by the way, you can only get into heaven with nice cars. They're not letting you in with Subarus. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Just so you know. Vroom, vroom, everyone. <laughs> Got a crappy car? Plenty yeah. of parking Better spots upgrade. available in hell. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Boy, <laughs> the parking situation in hell, a nightmare for sure. Yeah, definitely. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Unless you like parking nightmares, then that's... Yo, th that's yeah. a great idea of what hell probably is, is driving around a parking lot trying to find a place to park. Is there a spot anywhere? Yeah. <laughs> there's one. There's one that just opened up. You got to uh, look around. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, we've talked about this, I think, in the past, but I guess uh, the people over at Study Finds are back talking about the idea of should we be using human waste as fertilizer? Yes. I yeah. thought we were. No, uh, that I think that Danny, you might this be. time you might be, but yeah, with the uh, climate issues, it is harder and harder to grow food. Is it time to tap back into human waste? Is the, it a thing we were tapping before? It was I'm once sure. upon a time, but then I believe in the 1800s uh, that people stopped using it, and then there were some valid health reasons like a, oh, cholera, yeah. a cholera epidemic mm -hmm. you know we think every now and then when some romaine lettuce gets tainted by human waste like that's a problem can you imagine if everything's being fertilized with human waste it'll be a non-stop fda you know mm -hmm. warning against yeah. all sorts of stuff well, it seems like that other cultures outside of the united states are more open to the idea and also, according to this research, uh, men are more accepting of the oh, idea than women who course. tend to have greater concerns about health and aversion to risk and disgust. Come on, and ladies. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Get on board. Uh, I don't really know the benefits of you. You said you wanted organic produce. Mm. Yeah. At what cost? Go poop mm -hmm. on the go poop on the pepper plants. <laughs> I uh, I don't really know how much processing needs to go into the human waste before it's because my thought is you add some human waste to a plant, the plant immediately dies. Like, mm. <laughs> ah, too That's many chemicals and plastics. Blah. Yeah, too much Mountain Dew. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Uh, uh, I don't know how thinned out it needs to be or if there needs to be additives or what, but uh, if we can perfect the system, then why not give it a go? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's what they're saying, Tyson, uh, in terms of like for this to work, then we need to start uh, doing a campaign for public acceptance. We need to sort of change the way that people perceive this. T-shirts made? T-shirts could be good. Yeah. What should they say? Feces for feces for fertilizer. Mm. No, feces for the future. Feces for the future. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The, our fecal future. Yeah. People like the poop emoji. It's a beloved emoji. That is one of the best emojis. And some people still think it's chocolate ice cream, mm. which is crazy. Chocolate. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. So you think poop, poop emoji. Human Maybe waste. Tap into sort of like space. the circle of life. Like we eat the food, yeah. then we. Oh, then... you think like a life cycle of poop. Poop. Yeah. Mm. Food and goes the, in, and then the poop becomes poop the food, comes out, poop and then we eat the food. food. Yeah. Kind of like a, a two-step process. We can have the over. video, kind of like how a bill becomes a law. Yeah. You know? How your I'm just a bill a on yeah. Capitol Hill. Yeah, exactly. But about <laughs> how a poop becomes a plant. <laughs> who becomes a food becomes a poop again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the cycle yeah. of life. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I think we've brainstormed this enough and you're welcome. Uh, big poop. We've just given you a zillion yeah. ideas. Tyson talked earlier yeah. about, you know, things just getting expensive. Can't do anything. That's not a hundred dollars. Spend $900 <laughs> a day. Like it's nothing. All yeah. indicators of potentially things costing too much, but another lesser known index, uh, is, uh, raising some eyebrows. The sausage index is high. Whoa. So we have the big max. Mm -hmm. Big Mac index. Um, that's one they now we have a sausage index. What does sausage index even mean? Does that mean we should have been investing in sausages? No, it yes, means like we should have. Oh, yes. Uh, sausage index is when the 
demand for sausage goes up, it's typically because people are tightening their belts and looking for oh. lower quality meats. We also mm. have the stripper index. That's a well-known one. The is, strippers, it, is it well-known? Stripper, well known? stripper index yeah. is down? Well, strippers know before anyone else in the economy is tanking because tips go down. Oh. And they ah. don't get as much. Benjamin's What'd they say? Them. Oh, well, they, according to them, we're in dire straits. Mm-hmm. So if the sausage, the Big Mac, and the stripper index are all pointing yep. to the same thing, hmm, I don't know. Yep. Are we in they trouble? They have all the latest polls, too. It's so funny. We have economists who go and spend tons of money to get degrees on this, and then we're turning to like the Big Mac and the stripper <laughs> and, and probably sausage. an octopus and yes. a sausage to tell yes. us when it's going to happen. The yeah. sausage category grows as the economy weakens. Wow. Uh... Hmm. Have you had Wait. any sausage lately, Danny? I had some on Sunday. Uh oh. Wait, what does it mean though? Does this some does this spell Do bad? Do you typically have sausage? No, on he's a been Sunday? having steak and eggs. Yeah. <laughs> now he's now, now he's I'm having switched eggs to and sausage. sausage. Yeah, he switched to and it's patties too, not even links. <laughs> well, yeah, that's what you eat for breakfast. The <laughs> worst. The worst sausage is the sausage patty. Yeah, it does feel wrong. Right? Sausage and patty form? No. I need it in a form of a hot dog. Yes. Uh, I had it with spaghetti. Wait. Okay. Oh. Yeah. What? Wait, what? So you're just like, Liz, make me my favorite breakfast. No, my mom. Sausage and, sausage and spaghetti. Sausage and spaghetti. Yeah. Your mom made you that? Yeah, on Sunday. Everybody hmm. or like ever? you got your own thing? Like yeah, it was like 50 people there. And is it sausage in the sauce? Yes. And what kind of sauce is it? Red sauce? Yes. Wow, lots of questions. Well, I'm just standard, I think. I didn't even know that it was tied to some kind of index, though. I didn't know I was eating my, you know, doomed future. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if Danny's yeah, hope, billionaire hope parents things are going are okay. Sausage, yeah. You're in trouble. <laughs> Big Great. trouble. So wait, it's saying that this is what people are spending their money on as things get tight. Instead things get, of... things are getting too expensive. The rest of the meat is getting too expensive. People are turning to sausage. Yeah. Now, I have not found sausage to be especially cheap. Yeah, I was going to say, is sausage <laughs> really that cheap? I mean, I don't know. It tastes cheaper. Mm hmm. Okay. And all the all right, salt. Well, let's switch things up from sausage mm -hmm. to they held this past week uh, the World Gravy Wrestling Championships. <laughs> wow. I forgot to sign up. Mm -hmm. I guess gravy is basically free, no one's tightening their belt there. Yeah, uh, they didn't add gravy. sausage to it, though, I don't think. I think it was just gravy without sausage. Just gravy. Gravy wrestling. Uh, and it looks like it got pretty intense at the Gravy picture? Wrestling Championship. Yes. Uh, so 528 gallons of gravy. But look at this. This guy is getting That guy's got blood. Kicked. Bloody nose and getting drop kicked. Yeah. That's like Ew. a scene from Fight Club. <laughs> right. Look at that. That guy is totally jacked. He's all tattooed up. And look at this clown yeah. dressed in like this, all yellow. Yeah, well, he was coming to like wrestle in the gravy. Didn't expect to get the crap beat out of him <laughs> by Ewan McGre by, uh, McGregor, by McGregor, Conor McGregor, dude. Uh, yeah, seriously, who was yeah. it? This was a mismatch. Uh, I don't know what kind of money was on this fight. Look at how shredded I, that tattoo guy that is. Dude is dude, so that... jacked, mm -hmm. and he's kicking somebody <laughs> in the gut. And that guy looks like he's going to clown college. He <laughs> looks look like it. an entertainer. <laughs> listen, listen to the caption here. Look, he's taking competitors. A, he's, no, no, he's taking a heel right to the crotch. Yeah, yeah that's that what picture. he is. But, but look at the go down a little bit. It says, <laughs> "Oh that my gosh, fancy. dude!" <laughs> I didn't even know that the butt had muscle tone like that. Yeah, was that a gravy outline? Yeah. Uh, these gravy the, wrestlers are not eating a lot of gravy. One is a hot dog and one's dressed as Jesus. <laughs> this <laughs> this guy is breaking the other guy in half yeah. in a pool of gravy. It this seems like there were two types of people who showed up at the gravy wrestling <laughs> yeah. championship. Those like, who were there goofballs who were there in costume like it was Mardi Gras. And then some the stone cold killers. <laughs> yeah, but the UFC people. fighters are, showed up. <laughs> Like, finally, dude, I'm going to just cakewalk this all the way to the championship. Well, mm -hmm. it's not hunting season yet. Is there anything we can kill? 
<laughs> yeah. Wrestling's that's coming up let's try it yeah i mean <laughs> this was real right this wasn't like professional wrestling like look at no. this guy so here's another guy here is like um a guy, guy in like a bodysuit <laughs> and it looks like he's wet. about to power bomb borat <laughs> This and look at this guy. He has all the hallmarks of someone who didn't want to be there. He's wearing jeans. He wasn't prepared uh, clothing wise. And no, they said like, that they were dressed up. A man in a suit. Like read all the captions. It sounds like one of the premises was people were dressing up for this because it made it funnier. But then the guys, it seems like they were like the guys on the inside were like, we're gonna go in our spandex no. fighting gear, but we're gonna advertise it to wear suits and ties. No, there was probably like a WWF conference nearby, and they're like, "Oh, <laughs> wrestling! So? An opportunity to wrestle on my own time." Mm -hmm. and so I think that you were judged on your wrestling skills and your fancy dress costume. Yes. So I think that some people really went all in on the costume and others went all in on the wrestling <laughs> those are two very different <laughs> categories that's why the guy with the weird clown look man he had a bloody nose and a shocked look on his <laughs> where face is this <laughs> it was in england england you guys crack me up mm -hmm. i mean <laughs> things are not cheese. looking so great for the hot dog man as he is oh, about no. to broken, receive a pile neck. driver from oh my God. this neanderthal <laughs> This is Viking stock. This guy is like only slightly removed from Eric the Red, and he's about to pile drive that guy who came Broken. in a costume for yeah. like a lighthearted day in the gravy. And this he's about to get paralyzed. All this for the grand prize for one man and one woman to each win sixty-six dollars. <laughs> the mark of the beast. This can't even buy that much sausage for that. This is the most brutal thing I've seen in a long time. <laughs> What are people doing, dude? You couldn't pay me any amount of money to wrestle a stranger. I'd be like, if no I thanks. showed up and that guy who looked like Jesus was my competitor, I'd be like, <laughs> no, thank you. That is a jacked dude. Yeah. And I'm in my clown outfit. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, yeah, I came here for fun. Yeah. Uh, referee, don't know if he needed to be pouring a bucket of gravy on two women hugging after their match. Not sure what the intent here was. Uh, uh Probably just to make it cool. Mm -hmm. Is the gravy warm or is it cold? That seems more like an au jus to me. Yeah, that's, that's not watery. gravy. Mm -hmm. It's watery, but that might be what gravy is to England. We don't know. <laughs> we don't know. We don't know their customs. <laughs> yeah. So. All right. Uh, this is all to raise money for hospice. Yeah, they definitely uh, s saved a bunch of money by only giving 66 pounds probably mm -hmm. or maybe it was 66 dollars they converted it in the article uh per winner that's yeah. so that's a pittance maybe it's yeah. like ridiculously small could be paralyzed <laughs> i know that, <laughs> <laughs> that the, those pictures will stay with me the rest of the day and bring me great joy <laughs> <laughs> Danny, maybe we can get out there for the next one. No way. Just watch it. Just that to guy, watch. Dude, that We're... guy was getting heel kicked in the crotch. <laughs> yeah, do, you, do you think, though, like if you just went to watch and they're like, come on, Danny, come get in the gravy with us? And not in a million like you're, <laughs> Yeah, but you're going to be pressured like crazy. I, I'm not a high schooler. I'm no, I understand that. But I'm saying. Could you, is there a world we live in where you could go and watch that and enjoy it without getting pressure? If they paired me up with clown guy, I'd be like, all right, I could probably take him. Okay. <laughs> then you would do it? Maybe. Like if Tyson also said he would do it. I'm not doing it. Okay. Then I'm not doing it. Yeah. We're, we're either doing it together or we're not doing it at all. I'm just saying I want to be a spectator, but I don't want to constantly have to tell people like, no, I'm not doing it. I just want to yeah, watch somebody that. get hurt in gravy. I just want to watch a well-dressed man who thinks he's there to win a dress <laughs> competition get wrestled. Yeah, that's a story he'll tell forever. It's like, Grandpa, how did you From get paralyzed? <laughs> yeah. He's like, well, I was gravy wrestling. They're like, whoa. I guess that's actually a pretty cool story. <laughs> I was so, gravy wrestling, and then we raised money for this facility, actually, where I live now. Okay, and uh, it's that time of year again. Um, Burning Man kicks off. Oh, oh the worst time Burning of year, Burning Man dude. 2024. Yeah. Liar. Yeah, there's oh, already man. been one fatality at Burning Man I'm a man burner, so like, I always carry my uh, stick juggler things around. 
in my uh, bo- big boots. One death? How did that happen? Um, so a 39-year-old woman uh, died, and I think there's still an investigation mm-hmm. into what happened. happened in the happened. orgy dome? <laughs> um, there's been a lot of reporting about the orgy dome. I know. At Burning Man. Wait, this year there's an orgy yeah. dome? I think every year there's an orgy dome. You know, I Burning, can only imagine how that would smell. Yeah. According to this article, uh, Burning Man is known for its orgy dome where attendees enjoy sex between two or more people. Mm. According to Cosmopolitan, around 5,000 people stopped by the tent last year. Yeah, and uh, 4,900 of them were spectators. <laughs> it's, patient zero comes no, from there almost every year. That, some, <laughs> it, it, that it was reported that if somebody sees people just standing around there, ask to leave. Like what? So like a dude yeah, but what if another take... dude, and then he's yeah. like looking over. I need some like, water. Hey, get out of here. Oh, get yeah. out of here. Yeah, I'm zero. about to join. I promise. Get I'm in about or to, get out. I'm about to join. I promise I'm about dude. to join. A giant orgy dome, that's like gravy wrestling 30 people at the same time. It's exhausting. Except for you're making your own gravy. Yeah, the mm-hmm. gravy is man-made. And, oh my gosh, that's so gross. Yeah. Another part of Burning Man uh, yeah. that, Tyson, you might like this. There's a, a gift-giving aspect of Burning Man. Well, Christmas. Yes. You attend, okay. and then you give, uh, give and exchange gifts. Nah, this sucks, dude. Because mm-hmm. you're like, oh, I'm going to surprise everybody and have a dope gift for whoever gets my gift. And you take it in, and then they're like, you got a used pair of scissors. It's like, what? I spent $1,000 on that. Yeah, yeah. Here's, yeah. <laughs> here's an iPad that's not even released yet. Got it. I had to definitely you know, call in some favors to get this unreleased iPad for one lucky here's winner. Here's some pink quartz. Yeah. <laughs> so last year... They had the apocalyptic rains, which left people stranded in the mud. I do feel like that uh, there was some reporting that Burning Man is in trouble. I read that, too, that they're having low ticket sales. Hmm. And uh, I doubt they're in trouble, but there there will always be posers. What about gravy wrestling? Could that drum up some more excitement this year? For sure, actually. I think that that could. I mean, we saw the pictures and they brought us. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Mm-hmm. I would much rather see great. There'd be more deaths, though. Know. There'd be <laughs> yeah. a lot more deaths. Also, it's getting more expensive too. Burning Man. Yeah, well, I think I saw seven hundred dollars per vehicle. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they also sell access to tents that cost yeah. like two hundred fifty thousand dollars for the orgy at. dome. No, no, at tents to stay at. <laughs> but, like hotel rooms, the orgy yeah. dome, dome. They're like paying people to go in there. Because it's just filled with dudes. They're like, we need to do <laughs> They're we paying people pay. to go in there and then yelling at them when they don't immediately participate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So uh, we'll keep you posted next week on any other Burning Wait. Man stories that oh, come I out. Oh, I thought you were going to go and report. Could you no, imagine, I'm not going. I'm not going. Could you imagine going in the orgy dome and it'd be like that scene from I Am Legend where he goes in and there's all those <laughs> things standing around a corner in a circle uh, breathing really heavy. I feel like that's what the orgy dome would be. Just a bunch of dudes breathing really heavy. I mm-hmm. think with enough drugs, you get a higher participation in there. Yeah, drugs make everything. And also the vibe there horrible. is like, we're doing stuff we wouldn't normally do and that's the our... man yeah, <laughs> yeah that's the man dome. we just gave him 700 dollars as we drove through i'll do what i want yeah i'll do what i want yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're not corporate we don't support yeah. corporations except for burning man llc <laughs> and google where i work <laughs> <laughs> all right danny are you ready to take us to your bowl whoa home? so soon this is blue by <laughs> that's because we're having a great time having a great time talk about orgy domes mm-hmm. time will but you want are you not ready you want another story uh no i'm i'm looking right now at my stories but um if you've got something really good in your back pocket oh uh, i got a couple things that are okay if you're if you're not ready to go uh there was a man in florida who mm-hmm. was impersonating a pizzeria an entire pizzeria yes he would go to a hotel uh and then hand out flyers for a pizzeria but then give people disgusting pizzas uh what what was that he'd made himself from his kitchen yeah i that they said that he would give them a a box 
Um, and then maybe just like raw dough, like disgusting uh, pizzas. Was he filming and it? Like for what purpose? I think he was just getting them, taking the money. Like I think he like handed out flyers, then like took orders and then handed you like a box with like a disgusting pizza and took your money. Well, at least he's giving you something. That was probably to skirt the law. You know, mm -hmm. like, no, I did give them a pizza. Never said it was going to be good. Why not just find the cheapest pizza you can find and rebox it and sell it at a profit like Little Caesars? So you go buy the five dollar hot and ready's, <laughs> yeah, and then sell them for twenty dollars and call them uh, uh, Little Nero's hot and ready's. You know, hmm. Johnny's yeah. hot and ready. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if he had like the uh, wherewithal to have like the the ability to cook pizzas. I think he just had like a cell phone and then a car. He there's not an app to cook a pizza yet. Not yet. I think you could cook a pizza on a car engine block, but maybe he's oh, not a yeah. car guy. Yeah. yeah. Hotel mm -hmm. microwave. But he was doing this for years. Uh, what? And also was using the name of a real pizza restaurant. Wow. Wow. What a small business been. I mean, yeah. like mm -hmm. most small businesses collapse. After so what do you do for work? I own a pizzeria. <laughs> <laughs> I sell pizza dough in boxes yeah. to people. And he would make flyers for this fake pizzeria with the fake uh, phone, phone number. number. The phone number wouldn't go to him, or it, did? it would go. To, it would go to him. Yeah. But it was the name of a real pizzeria, Roman's Pizzeria. Yeah, I saw a TikTok where a guy was selling stickers with his phone number on them that said "Complaints about driving, call this number," and it was this guy's number. So then you'd buy the sticker, put it on your car, and then he'd get take the calls of people complaining about your driving. And he'd just put them on hold over and over and yeah. over. Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah. You basically have a license to do anything you want. A yeah. lot of free time. Yeah. On your hands. Like, take that number down. Let's yeah, take, work. Let's. We're, we're going to report this guy. Yeah. Exactly. And the one he played the full "Stairway to Heaven" song like three times for <laughs> one guy. <laughs> <laughs> And then he's like, "You can come into our office and register a formal complaint." He's like, "Yeah, I will do that." He's like, "It's in this location." He's like. I'm not coming all the way out here. And he's like, well, there's another way you can do it. You can mail it by, by mail. You, so yeah, it's mm -hmm. man, this guy both sides like have too much time. Yeah. <laughs> this guy, I'm looking at a picture of him. Yeah. He seems unhappy that he finally got busted. Yeah. Cause not that's happy. been his whole livelihood and his right? business model. And he's like, now I have to invent another business as an entrepreneur. Imagine if he had hustled this hard and actually produced a decent product. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you had made good pizzas, eventually he could have break, <laughs> broken off on his own. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Danny, you ready for yes. the bulls hall? I'm ready. All right, here we go. Welcome to my bolt hall. I think you're gonna like it. I think you're gonna feel you belong. Yes. The uh, baseball playoffs? Do yep. they call it playoffs? Yep, they call yep. it playoffs. Okay. How are how are the Cardinals or Arizona, whatever, doing? Oh, they're soon? crushing, dude. Yeah, they're they got uh, hot. They're okay. uh, leading the charge. They're, Mets I think they're are the chasing them. Yeah. This think, is great news for you. I think the Be Cardinals are the favorite right now to win the World Series, right? Cardinals? Because, or not the Cardinals, the Diamondbacks. Uh, I don't, I mean. Uh, they're one of the favorites. They're, they're sure. pretty hot. Sure. sure. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Sorry, I'm getting this mixed up. I said baseball, but Cardinals. That's football. And, uh, football. Arizona Cardinals are Arizona football. Cardinals. Okay. Either Lewis way, Cardinals. Diamondbacks baseball. Yes. That yes. You, you can tell I'm not a golfer. Uh, yeah. The uh, Arizona Cardinals. So it is just football. starting. Just football. Yeah, it, starting. It's going to start Baseball's in two weeks. Ending. Yeah. And so, Tyson, if you get an opportunity, you need to go down to wherever they play. Oh, the State Farm Glendale. Stadium in yep. Glendale. Yep. Uh, they are offering, and I, I have a hard time believing that this is true, but they are offering at that building yeah. a cotton candy burrito. I saw that. Cotton candy burrito. Yeah, I saw the headlines. And I showed this to my children who love candy. Yeah. And not even they would consume it. I can't imagine of anyone, even Tyson, who loves to snack. I'm mostly a chip guy, though, right, Tyson? Yeah, savory over sweet, sure. I mean, who could possibly eat this burrito? It's filled with, let me list the items, fruity pebbles, yep. gross. So maybe my oldest could eat this. Fruit Loops, marshmallows, Skittles, mini M&Ms, gummy bears, and sprinkles wrapped in cotton candy. 
in a bur- burrito form? I think what you do is you peel the burrito open and pick the candy out one by one. It's massive. It's like the size of one of my thighs. Yeah. That's how big mm-hmm. it is. I mean, so, you're going to need a team of people to eat this. I don't know if uh, all stadiums do this, but it seems like all the stadiums here in Arizona, they try to come up one with item. a wackadoo food, one item that they kind of like flaunt. And they'll do multiple items throughout the season. Sometimes mm-hmm. they'll be like, playoff special only. Here's the hot dog loaded a uh, spicy hot I get, dog i get that though like a hot dog this is just a waste of food luckily all that food's pretty cheap yeah but yeah it's just but, like at least make something that i would be interested in but the problem is danny like uh so like the uh you know chicken finger burrito that danny bryson might be interested in buying not making headlines like the cotton candy burrito well nobody's reporting on the thing you might actually want to eat at the stadium remember the lobster stuffed turkey or whatever it was the turkey stuffed lobster it was one of those two things like that is something that gets headlines but you would also eat be willing to eat this is just a giant waste of a gimmick like, come on, if you're going to do something, this is my complaint. If you're going to do something like this, at least make it edible. Putting Fruit Loops in there, yeah, uh, Fruity Pebbles, you're just phoning it in. You're just creating a giant... Dis- People like, are just I- buying it for the gram, Danny. Yeah, dude, the gram, buddy. Yeah, but can we do it for the gram and also have it be actually edible rather than just a giant waste? That's all I'm asking. Mm-hmm. That's all I want. Okay. Okay, gram, grammable, edible, everybody wins. Mm-hmm. Grammable and edible. Yeah. Gram edible. Good luck with that. Yeah. I know. Real maybe maybe luck. that's just a dream that'll never ever become a reality. Look, there's only two types of food in this world food to eat and food for Instagram. This yeah. is oh. food for Instagram. Yeah, it is colorful. So that does make sense. This like is not pink meant pink to be eventually be fertilizer, Danny. You know what? I would like to see someone eat one of these it would be more impressive to eat one of these in my mind than something like 60 ounces of steak this would wow. be a challenge because this will make you sick almost immediately yeah. on the first bite do we know how many calories in a cotton candy burrito 50 million <laughs> mm. <laughs> they actually have a defibrillator there right next to it so that when you eat it you can be revived okay so right. you, yeah if you get a- anything chance. else danny no, that's it. Just okay. find, I'm excited for Tyson to have the opportunity to chow down on that. Uh, nobody goes to that stadium for anything. Oh, interesting. Okay, yeah. never mind. We need Maybe. football to get better in Arizona. And They're going to be better them. this year. Yeah, they might. Okay. We'll see. They, they, they're one of those teams that figures out a way to not be better. Mm. Well, they have Marvin Harrison Jr. now. Well, we'll see. We'll see uh, if your predictions are true. And Rob... Your yes. beloved Mets are meeting my Diamondbacks today, tomorrow, the next day. Oh, uh, Matt, yeah, Mets have been back and forth to the West Coast a couple of times. They need Mets need to make up some ground. They've they had a had a nice been a nice story, but they're right now. Yeah. Uh looking a little look uh, looking like a little bit of a long shot. Man, um, we swept the Red Sox, we swept the Marlins, but the Rays swept us, but then we swept the Rockies. Wow, Tyson. The Phillies. And uh we have the Mets coming to town and then the Dodgers coming to town. I'm going to a Dodgers game on Labor Day. Cool. So, yeah. But Okay. Now we know what you're doing. We're hot, hot, hot. <laughs> hot, hot, hot. Like the weather. All right. We uh, need to talk about our thumbnail for today's episode of News AF. Ooh. Yeah. Gravy wrestling. Something with gravy wrestling. Yeah. That's that's obviously. Obviously. Much joy. And uh, probably like gravy wrestling in an orgy uh, dome. Mm, I don't think they're, they're going to let us. <laughs> How do that. about a burner wrestling in gravy? Mm, okay. A what? A burner, a person who goes to Burning Man. Oh. Wrestling in gravy against a giant sausage. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, Could never do that. I got some uh, Chick fil A TV oh, um, yeah. suggestions also. Okay. I could show you those. Okay. Yeah. I mean, they're not too uh, off the wall, but uh, okay. Chick Fil A TV. Here is here is a TV at Chick Fil A. Yeah, I like that. I like both of those. That's perfect. 
Those are all great. <laughs> this is, I love how this I man love... has a TV head also at Chick Fil A. Yeah, so watching you have a to have old, very old TV uh... tubes. Yeah, yeah. There's the old tuber. I kind of like and that. Then this, first is, one. this is the cow on the yeah. TV. Yeah, they do. They use the cow in there. And then we got some off. gravy wrestling at Burning Man. Now this is like a little like disturbing. <laughs> two two dudes, one torso. Identical. No, it's two torsos, one waist. Yeah. You we know what? Though? Have, these guys are not great. Those are burnt. Oh, look at that chode. Look at that guy. <laughs> what? All... Look at that guy. You said it's chode. Like a... Yeah, it's uh, from it's uh, a show. Look at that hands. Look at that. Yeah. Those guys are savage. But, so uh, we, we have Burning Man wrestling. I don't know if we have yeah. gravy. They're having no. too much fun. Like we uh, need one well-dressed man and one <laughs> professional wrestler. Well, a professional gets... wrestler wrestling a man in a suit in, in a bowl of gravy. Yeah. There's professional wrestler fights businessman. <laughs> yeah. In a bowl in of in gravy. Bowl of gravy. I feel like they're going to be very tiny. But in if you stay gravy, right? Tub of it gravy. doesn't. Yeah. It, it needs to know that the gravy is contained or else it's going to okay. put like a random brown sauce in the, what, what do you say? A bowl of gravy? Pool of gravy? Pool of gravy. Pool of gravy. That's that could be something. All right. Danny, what's coming up for you? Oh, um, just got a big col collab I'm working on with yeah, uh, it's gonna be social cool. media influencer. Or mm -hmm. Yes. That. Yeah. It's Tyson. It's me. Wow. We're finally yeah. doing our uh, adventure. Dude, I told bro Danny, trip. Told yep. Danny six months ago I was ready to go on an adventure with him. And we and worked we... at it and worked at it and worked at it. And it paid off. And finally, finally found here. one that I didn't do the research on to see if I'm going to die or not. Mm -hmm. So what are you guys going to do? mountain stuff tyson is probably a little bit worried we're going to go on some glaciers do some hikes do possibly some kayaking and i invite tyson me bring a ice axe well i'm bringing an ice it for him axe yeah, yeah. He, he won't need it but it, you just have it to look cool okay <laughs> okay it's all if about it's just to look cool then that's fine but we're going oh if we lose both of you like oh that's going to be the saddest news af ever when i have to come back rachel said don't come back injured either die or come back safe because the life insurance money mm -hmm. mm, yeah you'll be fine i think i mean i can't guarantee it yeah probably the riskiest thing is you know driving okay well i already have my plea to danny when i've fallen in a crevasse in the glacier danny you brought me here you're partly responsible because i know danny's just like save myself first and then yes always the rescuer's <laughs> motto me first <laughs> so yeah we'll be uh headed out here in the next little bit next week, next week to go norway adventure yeah Can you believe that i've never been to norway yeah they did have it, polar bears and walruses. Did Danny come to you with like three different pitches? Or is like, no. I got it. No you want to go here next week. Do you think you'd leave your family again after going to Canada? And I was yeah. like, well, Canada was kind of workish, even though it was great. And mm -hmm. so I was like, Rachel, can I go to Norway with Danny? And she's like, yep, you can. And I was like, what a good wife. Mm -hmm. and then I said, Liz, can I go to Norway with Tyson? And she was like, eh. no. She said, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm hmm yeah we're gonna have a great time probably and uh, we're gonna eat so much reindeer every day we'll be honking on reindeer steaks just... i've been looking at the norwegian cuisine and i have Not to great. say we might want to pack our own food from <laughs> and some we top might ramen. Just bring some top ramen <laughs> <laughs> All right, Rob, okay. what do we have? Yeah, okay. So um, I I think that, that we really stumped uh, the AI with- yeah, Your uh, face the wasn't excited. I yeah, could tell, yeah. yeah I the businessman we... versus, uh, you know, we got a lot of different versions of this. Very little gravy, I will no say. No gravy. But you know, the, mi the mismatch was there. Look at- Yeah. No. Again, this is almost like gravy colored floor, but I think we say covered in gravy. Exact. Covered. Uh, okay. I, I, I tried it. And then this is in the pool of gravy. We just got like a pool. A pool. So dumb. that one's better if it was, if that was gravy, some of those would be that one. <laughs> that guy's about to die. <laughs> mm hmm. Look how that guy's got are. gravy. <laughs> that guy, real, that's the real best one. Here, if that Danny. guy would. If that guy was covered in gravy, that would be perfect. Okay, Alicia, professional wrestler, uh, fights, businessman covered in gravy? Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, try one more time. Tyson, show. what about you? Cover you Obviously. put it not in. Oh. Well, that uh, make all the difference. So for me, I'm actually gonna go to Norway with uh YouTube uh channel sensation. Guy. Yeah, YouTube sensation. He has over a hundred thousand subscribers. Wow! And uh, that's next week, though. So we'll be recording next week and talk about it again next week. So it's yeah. going to get a two-week buildup. So this oh, better be man. awesome. Uh, and uh, then going to start podcasting for Survivor here uh, in the next yeah. few weeks. And CBS is given. Uh, I think both of us clearance, Rob, you're going to do something virtually, but I am exploring doing a in-person watch party for the new show, The Summit for, on CBS. Forget watching The Summit. It sounds like you guys are making The Summit. Oh, yeah. yeah we are. We'll be peaking. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, got some Okay, some things to that's, show you. Okay. Oh, that's better. there we go. That's, that's better. better. Again, I'm not sure if that's giving gravy. No, um, it's human feces, which was also <laughs> yes. a thing we talked about. Okay. Uh, here is that's some gravy. Some businessmen. Oh, I, again, this is very chunky gravy. That's Troy uh, Aikman fighting a it pro does wrestler. Look like Troy Aikman. That's right. That okay. Uh, here's a man that's with like sort of like a, a, a shirt a of gravy, gravy shirt, dude. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but he <laughs> post. Uh, gravy resting <laughs> interview here. <laughs> oh, oh, he's already butt. torn off his arms. <laughs> the businessman business is man. winning. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's giving him a wet willy. I like that. That guy's pulling his beard. And oh, the gravy man gosh. has gravy armbands. Uh, all of them? I like the first one or the second one. Okay. I'm I'm just worried YouTube is gonna shut down the whole channel after <laughs> what after that one. I think mean, maybe if we wait, wait, so what do you like Troy Aikman or you like the first one? Uh, I kind of like Troy Aikman. Yeah, I do too. Okay, gravy fights are news AF. Okay, yeah. there you go. Yeah. All right, uh, and then uh. Check out everything else we have going on over here, which we're talking about covering on nothing but Netflix this week. Kobayashi is going to take on Joey Chestnut in the net made for Netflix hot oh. dog eating contest. This is, is Kobayashi even have a chance? I don't know. He's been he's out been, the game too long. He's, he's been, been out of the game a secretly. long time. Mm -hmm. And I saw him on a show about uh, diet and eating healthy and stuff recently. And he was like, I don't even have taste i get no pleasure from eating i've damaged my bodies in ways i can't even imagine and now he's well like this the almighty dollar rule That's supreme right. tyson mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay let's go all right so thank you so much for joining us everybody will be back uh next time take care of a good one bye we did it guys